Hey everybody, I've got awesome news. It's an awesome story, guys. This is happening right now. <clears throat> oh man, you're not going to want to miss this. You're not, you're not, you're not. Get in here, come in out of the, well, I usually say come in and get out of the cold, but it's not cold outside anymore. It's warm. It's fantastic. Guys, you're going to want to hear this. You're going to want to hear this. Let me know where you're watching from. <clears throat> Let me know where you're checking in from. Share this video first and foremost, and I'm going to jump right into the meat and potatoes. Meat and potatoes. You're going to, this is, this is great. This is great. The politicians don't think it's great, but we think this is awesome. You're going to want to hear this. All right. First of all, I'm checking in from our headquarters here in Northfield, Minnesota, where we are rolling out uh, more programs, putting pressure on lawmakers. And one lawmaker has decided to squeal. He's squealing like a little piggy on Facebook. And you're not going to want to miss this. All right, we have James uh, checking in. Uh, we have Mike and Chris checking in from St. Cloud. We have Greg up in Big Lake. How you doing, man? Uh, we have Jason checking in from Garvin. We have Kitty checking in Roseville. We have Paul and Dan, Rob, Jesse, Swampy Erickson. Is your name actually Swampy, or is that a nickname? I like that, Swampy. Now, we have uh, Mike checking in Rush City. Another Mike checking in Mankato. We have Becky and uh, Merritt checking in from Owatonna. Mark, Sal. All right, guys, I'm going to hop right into this. You're not going to want to miss this, not even two seconds of this. So we're putting pressure on these conference committees, right? The conference committee is taking up the gun control bills. Not today, not today, um, but that is, it's going to go in front of this conference committee. It's got, we have five Republicans, five Democrats, and uh, they're the ones who have to deal with red flag gun seizures and universal gun registration. Awesome. Oh, my God, my voice is talking to me there. Okay, one of these Democrat House representatives is a guy named John Lesh. That guy uses more hair care product than you could fathom. But John Lesh, he is the House Judiciary Chairman, and he is one of the four House Democrats who are going to take up this gun control um, in the near future. They're going to decide... You know, if, you know, whether or not they want to pass this stuff or not. John Lesh did a Facebook post just one hour ago, and I'm going to read this for you guys. You're going to want to hear every single word of this. This is incredible. I love it. Thank you, John Lesh, for letting us know what we already know, and that is that gun owners are the best fighters in Minnesota. So John Lesh, here's what he says. He says, I get a lot of emails. It's probably the chief method by which folks seek to petition me on any manner of issues at the Minnesota State Capitol. And I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Over the years, I have developed, not by design, but more by default, a rubric on their value to me. It's kind of filtering in the following order of precedence okay so this is how he reads the bills or how he reads emails that come in from gun owners he goes number one is it a constituent whom i hear from or is active in the community two is it from a constituent in general three how many emails from this perspective have i received four is it written in their own words or a bot generated stock language we're going to talk about we're going to talk about that. Number five, is it persuasive? Okay. So this is what he says. Those five things. He goes, um, this is not the exclusive method by which I weigh input or make decisions, nor is it always in that order. I listed persuasiveness as number five, but anyone who knows me knows that an impressively persuasive piece of writing can change things for me dramatically. He's such a fat liar. He's such a liar. This guy could hear 18,000 pages of phenomenal reasons why he should not support gun control, and he's still going to support gun control. He says, currently, I serve on the Judiciary Public Safety Conference Committee, 
What that means is the major differences between the House bill, including gun background checks and red flag orders, among many other provisions, and the Senate bill includes none of these provisions, are stark. One thing I have noticed since the conferees were announced, listen to this, was the number of emails I have received on the gun bills. I know where my district is on this issue. They are overwhelmingly, they overwhelmingly favor gun protection measures, which that tells you right there, all of his talk about a well-written email is going to convince him not to support gun control is total BS, total BS. And he goes, he goes on, he says, they are, I know, da, 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 da. I know that my district on this issue, they're overwhelmingly in favor of gun protection measures. I know where the people of Minnesota are on this. They are around 80%, he says, depending on which polls you count, in favor of background checks. And yet the emails I have received, hold on a minute, somebody's knocking at my door. Hey, what's going on out there? Did you leave the packages by the door? Thanks. I'm on Facebook Live. I'll pick them up. Appreciate it. UPS. I love that guy. My UPS guy is the best guy. I got to tell you, I was expecting a package and he was knocking on the door. Um, so I hope, hope nobody snatches it while I'm on the, while I'm on Facebook Live here. But here he goes. We're going to keep going here. A little distraction right there. He says that 80% of Minnesotans support universal background checks. And yet, the emails I have received on this issue from constituents in my district have been 35 to 1 pro-gun. For every single email this guy is getting in support of gun control, he's getting 35 emails in support of the Second Amendment, and they're coming from Minnesota gun rights members. And I'll tell you how I know, because his next sentence says this. Now remember, this is all coming from a leftist radical Democrat so we're going to talk, I mean, his choice of words is intentional here. <clears throat> so he says, and yet the emails I have received on this issue from constituents in my district have been 35 to 1 pro-gun. Some of these emails have included the profoundly tone-deaf, quote, kill gun control measures. He doesn't like the way our form emails read. He doesn't like the way... We talk. He doesn't like that we said kill the gun control because that's profoundly tone deaf in his opinion. See, <clears throat> uh, we're going to come back to this. So he says some of these emails have included the profoundly tone deaf kill gun control measures, end quote. <laughs> I noticed this because that side, this is very important, the anti-reform side, he means pro-gun side, has been able to successfully stymie reasonable gun control reform for many years at the Capitol. That's you guys, by the way. Their organization, their work effort, and their persistence has yielded policy victories well beyond their electoral numbers. Now, if that isn't a testament to the power of you, the members and supporters of Minnesota gun rights, I do not know what is. That right there is straight from the mouth of a radical leftist Democrat saying this organization and our work and your persistence has yielded policy victories well beyond their electoral numbers. Now, he did not mean that to be a pat on the back. He did not mean for that to be a massive thumbs up. He did not mean for that to be a massive shout out of victory for the members and supporters of Minnesota gun rights. But regardless, that's exactly what that was. 
That's exactly what that was. I'm going to read this one more time. He says, and yet the emails I have received on this issue from constituents in my district have been 35 to 1 pro-gun. Some of these emails have included the profoundly tone-deaf kill gun control measures, end quote. I noticed this because that side, the anti-reform side, has been able to successfully stymie reasonable gun control reform for many years at the Capitol. Their organization, their work effort, and their persistence has yielded policy victories well beyond their electoral numbers. Thank you for that, John Lesh. Thank you. I know that you would love nothing more than to totally disarm every single person watching this video right now, and frankly, everybody in Minnesota, but we appreciate the shout out. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. He says, I want to finish this up here. He says, Republicans in the Minnesota Senate have drawn a clear line in the sand on any measures that would decrease gun crimes. Thanks to you guys. He says, they are emboldened and unwavering in this stance by reason of the inordinate, uh, inordinate lobbying campaign by gun rights groups. Yeah, that's you guys. You have put the spine in any pro-gun lawmaker. You guys are getting it freaking done. Republicans and rural DFLers have been led to believe they have little to gain and everything to lose by passing meaningful gun control measures. <laughs> oh, I love it. Despite the polls overwhelmingly in favor of reform, which is total BS, by the way, the electoral threats against them, if they give one inch of ground on this issue, have been reinforced over the years so as to make progress unlikely until either A, we flip the Senate, not just the DFLers, but reform-friendly DFLers, B, or B, advocates for reform up our game to a level seen from the anti-reform gun lobby. You see what he's saying? He's saying the anti-gunners, the gun control organizations, aren't delivering the way the members and supporters of Minnesota gun rights are. I could kiss you guys right now. You guys are incredible. You're incredible. The work you've done is incredible. The work we have done together to pressure these lawmakers is incredible. It's incredible. I think it can be fairly said that we cannot be hopeful about any meaningful gun reform until one or both of those imperatives have transpired. Good luck, John Lesh. Good luck. This is why Minnesota Gun Rights fights the way we fight. He can sit there and whine and cry all he wants, but all he did was pat you guys on the back. All he did was tell you what we have always known. Rarely, rarely are politicians this honest in their assessment. See, if John Lesh had any brain power, he would have done a post like this and said, ah, we don't even hear from those gun owners. We don't even know who they are. Oh, they have no power in St. Paul. He would do what these other lawmakers do and just pretend to brush it off. <sighs> but no, in a rare, rare little bit of honesty right there, John Lesh comes right out and tells me what we have always known to be true. In spite of the crying, in spite of the Minnesota gun rights is mean. In spite of the, you know, Ben, if you guys would just go to the Capitol and build relationships with these lawmakers, we'd get a lot farther. You know, a little bit of honey attracts politicians way more than vinegar does, blah, 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 blah. 
That's all nonsense. Brady says it could be trickery. No, Brady, what he, what he is saying right here is the truth. Now, he is totally – I mean, you can see his own spin on it, right? You know, he calls us in profoundly tone deaf. And at the beginning he says, <clears throat> you know, is it written in their own words or bot-generated stock language? So he pretends that unless it's a heartfelt letter – from a gun owner, he doesn't really care. And that, oh, these bot-generated stock language, let me tell you, let me tell you something. I want, I want, you need to know this because this is a great lie in politics. People say, well, if it's a form letter, then these legislators, they just won't care. It's gotta be written in our own language. It's gotta be written in our own language. The truth is a person who sends a stock letter can vote just as much as the person who writes a heartfelt letter. Okay. That is the truth and they know it. So what they want to do is make all of you sit back and go, Oh boy, I got to sit down and write a 10 page expose on the second amendment. And I got to do all this stuff. And then maybe these politicians will listen. No, no. If a form letter, if tremendous amounts of pressure doesn't make them change their minds, a letter talking about what the founding fathers want isn't going to get the job done. We know that. We know that. I mean, if this guy lives in a district that he says is profoundly anti-gun, which is pretty much true, there's nothing. You don't convince people like that through the winsomeness of your words that you are right. Okay. It doesn't work. So while he's sitting there trying to totally throw off gun owners, because that's, I mean, this message is not meant to be a big, a big cheer for, for gun rights activists. He's clearly attacking us. He's clearly attacking the members and supporters of Minnesota gun rights. Oh, but boy, you don't even really have to read between the lines to see that he's telling us what we have always known. Yeah, Brady says bot letters are still sent by each one of us. Kick rocks. Well, that's exactly right. And they're not bot letters. Bot letters imply that it is that they're computer generated, that computers are sending these messages, not gun owners. Every single email is coming from gun owners. They're coming from the members and supporters of Minnesota gun rights. So we think that is absolutely spectacular, absolutely phenomenal. And I'm telling you, the members and supporters of Minnesota gun rights, I mean, my gosh, guys, it's incredible. It's incredible. It's incredible. I mean, that quote right there, their organization, their work effort, and their persistence has yielded policy victories well beyond their electoral numbers he says talking about minnesota gun rights saying you guys shut the gun control down you know what didn't do this you know what doesn't do this oh i know it sometimes it can sound like a broken record but licking the boots of politicians begging lawmakers pleading Pleading and pleading for our freedom never wins. You get no respect and fear because that's what, that's what we are, guys. The members of Minnesota gun rights are feared in St. Paul, and they should be. For years, it was not that way. It was not that way. Now we are. But Swampy says it exactly right. I love this. Swampy Erickson says, but we can't take the heat off yet. Heck no. Heck no, guys. We are 12 days. 13 days? We're 13 days away from the end of the legislative session. We can not let off. We can't. You must keep the pressure on. You must, you must, you must make the phone calls and the email. So, um, Tony says, who's the next target? The targets are exactly as they were. You need to target the 10 members of this uh, conference committee 
these may be the last people who deal with this gun control this year. If it doesn't make it out of this conference committee, it's dead. It's all dead. So I'm asking you guys, do it again. Send another email. Send another email to these people and tell them to shut down this gun control in conference committee. In conference committee. Um, Mark, here we go. I'll, I'll join MGR.com. Mark, um, Mark's asking how much for a life membership. Mark, click on that link. If you want to do, um, we can set it up to do different payments uh, to do the year, uh, the life, the life membership with Minnesota Gun Rights. If you'd like to do that, just shoot us a message. I'll give you a call personally. If you would like to become a life member, I can give you a call personally and uh, <clears throat> we can work out uh, the payment plan. Uh, if you'd like to do it that way, guys, if you would like to become a member of Minnesota Gun Rights, stand with us. Radical anti-gunners like John Lesh are literally, I mean, my gosh, they're giving the best sales pitch possible. He's saying, you guys have already shut this down in so many ways. Now, it's not done for now. It's not done yet for the rest of the year. But we got to keep the pressure on. We got to keep it up. Um, let's see here. So uh, back to what I was saying a second ago. On top of this live stream video, I'm going to drop it right here in the comment section. This is long, guys. It's long right here. Um, I'm, running, I'm running a watch party and Facebook Live simultaneously. So um, the, the contact information and the pre-written email are on top of the Minnesota Gun Rights live stream video. So when you leave, just go back to this video, go to the description, which talks about this, you know, the, the video that's coming up here, and uh, just copy and paste it. All their contact information is there. Um, the pre-written message is there. Just turn around, copy and paste the emails, copy and paste the message, bam, you're done. Fire it out the door send it off. And he can sit there, John Lesh, he can sit there and cry and go, oh, we're so tone deaf because we use the phrase kill gun control measures. <clears throat> Here's the thing. Here's the thing, Johnny. Uh, you guys, you radical anti-gun leftists who want to destroy our state, uh, in many ways, you rely on gun owners feeling guilty for crimes we never committed. You rely on gun owners feeling bad when a madman does something with a firearm as if somehow we are responsible. We're not responsible. What we are is responsible gun owners. And so you can sit there and use your BS rhetoric all you want, John Lesh, but we do not own the crimes of criminals. We didn't commit them. We own firearms to protect ourselves, our loved ones, our families, our neighbors, our state, and our country. That's why we own firearms, and you cannot guilt us into feeling bad. Oh, how could they use a phrase like kill gun control? Don't they know that's insensitive? Killing. Oh, guns are killing. Shut up, Johnny. It's not the way we roll at Minnesota Gun Rights. You're facing fighters here. We're fighters. We're fighters, <clears throat> and we don't get sidelined by your BS. Never have, never will. Um, so before you go, guys, whatever else you do, send those pre-written emails. Make the phone calls. The phone numbers are right there, too. You can do the same thing. Send a pre-written email. Send or write your own. I don't care if you write your own. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but the fact that John Lesh is sitting here saying, oh, all those bot generated form letters, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> whatever, Johnny, whatever. Um, Bob says, do you suppose he is watching? Well, I'm not friends with John, but I did tag him on top of this video. So I can pretty much guarantee you that he has at least staff watching it, or he's probably watching it himself because I think this might be the very first time that we have highlighted John Lesh on our live cast live cast 
Melbourne says John Lesh is a loser. Yes, he is a loser. Um, a few people are hopping on here um, asking what is happening. Uh, you'll have to go back and watch the first part of this video. But John Lesh, Representative John Lesh, he's one of the 10 lawmakers who are on this conference committee that has to deal with gun control. Uh, he went on his Facebook page now two hours ago, two hours ago, and did a post and basically, you know, unbeknownst to himself, gave a massive shout out to the members and supporters of Minnesota gun rights. I mean, it was just incredible. It's incredible. He tells us he's getting 35 to 1 pro-gun emails. For every anti-gunner who's messaging him, he's getting 35 messages from gun owners. And then, oh, he goes on to rail on us, but then he says that you and me have been able to successfully stymie reasonable gun control reforms for many years at the Capitol. He says their organization, their work effort, and their persistence has yielded policy victories well beyond their electoral numbers. And then he says that Republicans in the Senate are emboldened and unwavering in their stance to stop gun control uh, by reason of the inordinate lobbying campaign of, well, frankly, Minnesota gun rights. He says, Republicans and rural DFLers have been led to believe they have little to gain and everything to lose by passing meaningful gun control measures. You got that right, John. You got that right. You got nothing to gain and everything to lose by passing gun control. Despite the polls overwhelmingly in favor of reform, BS, the electoral threats against them, if they give one inch of ground on this issue, have been reinforced over the years so as to make progress unlikely. I mean, that just makes me giddy. That's just, I'm sorry. That's so exciting. That's fantastic. John Lesh, you made my day. You made my day. Because all you're doing is telling me everything that we already know. It's nice to hear it every now and again. It's that, guys, for all the kicks we get in the teeth, for all the swings, all the punches we give back, for this bloody, brutal battle that we have been engaged in every moment of this legislative session, this is what it's yielding right now. Guys, this is what our program is yielding now. Your pressure is doing exactly what we know it does. But Ben, how does Minnesota Gun Rights know that this works? How do you guys know that this is how politics works? Because we passed Stand Your Ground in Iowa, Missouri, and Wyoming. Because we passed constitutional carry in Missouri and helped our good friends out in Idaho make it become law, okay? Because we stopped red flag gun seizures in Minnesota Several years in a row, we have stopped red flag gun seizures out in Ohio and are moving constitutional carry because we know what motivates politicians. Pleasure and pain. Pain is a better motivator. And quite frankly, Minnesota gun rights is an expert. We are experts at political pain. Nobody in Minnesota knows how to inflict political pain like the members and supporters of Minnesota gun rights. Nobody. Nobody. Believe it, guys. You guys are the, I've said it before. I'll say it again. You are the best fighting force in this state. The members and supporters of Minnesota gun rights, there is nobody like you. There is nobody like you, and there is no group of people in all of Minnesota that is more feared in St. Paul 
than the members and supporters of this gun rights organization. This one. Brady says, let's get it done, Minnesota. Yes, let's get it done. Don't let off. Double down. Double the heck down on these people. More pressure. More, more, more pressure. More pressure. Um, man, guys, it's just, it's, 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 it's incredible. You know what this is? Again, don't let up. Don't let up. But this whole message from John Lesh is a is a death cry. It's a it's a you know, what, what do you want to, what, what do you want to call that? What are they what are the alligators when they grab you and they spin you under the water? You know that, that's what this is. This is a this is a political death roll for gun control happening right now. Now there's no guarantee they may move this stuff tomorrow. That's why we've got to keep the pressure on. That's why we must keep the pressure on. But let me tell you, it's a good sign. It's a good sign when a radical anti-gun leftist loser like John Lesh comes out and cries on Facebook. I mean, I'm going to have to print this off and pin it to the wall. I'm going to be reading this stuff for a year. Man, it's incredible, guys. I'm so... I know I'm just kind of, I know I'm kind of ranting a little bit now, but guys, I'm so proud. I'm so proud of the members and supporters of Minnesota gun rights. A lot of people like to claim credit. A lot of people want to stand up there and go, yeah, we got it done. Yeah. A lot of people want to capitalize on our success, on your success. But at the end of the day, it's the members and supporters of Minnesota Gun Rights who got this done. Um, guys, I'll be throwing a screenshot of this post up on our Facebook page so you can read it for yourself, okay? Um, I've read it over a couple of times. I won't bore you guys by reading it a third or fourth time. Um, but go read the bottom half of this guy's message. Go read it. And yes, John Burden, yeah. John Lesh doesn't deserve a great first name. John Burden's a great man. John Lesh, not so great. Not so great at all. Guys, if you want to be a part of this organization that's fighting like hell for you, go to joinmgr.com. Go to joinmgr.com. Become a member today. Become a member now. Fight with us. Because even in, the, even in the words of radical anti-gunners who are attacking Minnesota gun rights, e even they can't help but acknowledge the tremendous feat of excellence that Minnesota gun rights has accomplished this legislative session. Tremendous. Tremendous. You people are tremendous people, and it has been... It is, it is, it's, it's, it's my life's honor to fight with you, to fight with you, besides you fight on your behalf. It is my honor. Stand and fight with us. We're fighting with you. We're fighting for you. Um, all of the power that is Minnesota gun rights, and it is so powerful. All of that is only because of our members. If we have no members, if you guys don't send the emails, if you guys don't make the phone calls, the John Leshes of the world would never come out and say the stuff they did. We are nothing without our membership, nothing at all. So if you're not a member, go to joinmgr.com, become a member today, give yourselves a huge pat on the back, but again, don't pop the beers yet. We'll do that in a week and a half. We'll do that in a couple of weeks when session is over. For now, double down. Fight harder. Push harder. Push harder than you ever have before. Um, and that's what I've got. That's what I got for right now, guys. Um, so go ahead, make those phone calls, send those emails. Uh, James, love this. James says, calls made, 
emails sent. We'll repeat tomorrow. Lats wants you to fill out a form letter that was linked on his reply. Got a 404 message, so I will call him again and again and again. Keep the pressure on daily. Do it. Do it. But James, I think if you lance at senate.mn, if you send a message to Ron Lats, use use that one right there. Some of these people have their little form letters, the little form letters. Um, so that you can't send an email directly to them. But if you go ahead, every single senator, their name goes like this, okay? Sen, S-E-N dot Ron dot Lats at Senate dot M-N. And like Senator Mark Johnson, Sen dot Mark dot Johnson at Senate dot M-N. You know, send.andrew.lang at senate.mn. That's how it goes. So if you know your lawmaker's name, if you know who you're trying to contact, if they're in the Senate, just do send.warren.limmer at senate.mn. So you don't even really need to, It's uh, you don't actually need to know their email address. It just works like that. And so it's the same in the House, rep.carlos.mariani.com at house.mn, rep.nick.zerwas at house.mn. So it's really, really easy to remember. Um, and that goes for everybody. That goes for every lawmaker has a has one of those Senate or House um, uh, email addresses. So you don't have to look them up or anything. It just goes like that. So that was a, that was a bit of a send up, blah, 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 blah. Um, that, was, that was pretty tedious right there. Um, love it, guys. Love it, love it, love it. Um, Jason. Hack Trump, Jason Hack Trump. So I like Trump. I don't know if that's your last name. Probably not. Um, says, I can't disagree with this message. Good. I love it. I love it, guys. That's what I got for right now. I'm going to hop off. Um, keep that pressure up. We'll let you know if anything is changing in St. Paul, if anything needs to happen. But for now, this is who you need to be contacting. That is where the pressure lies. Um, And check out the Minnesota Gun Rights Facebook page in a little bit. We're going to have a screenshot of this with a little bit of commentary, uh, a screenshot of John Lesh's post. You guys are fantastic people. You're amazing, and I'm so proud of you guys. Um, So I'm going to hop off right now. Check back later. I'll have more updates for you soon. Oh, before you go, tonight, 6.30, 6.30 Central, the Second Amendment Daily Show, the American Firearms Coalition show is happening tonight at 6.30. So check back in in about four hours, and you'll get to hear even more from myself, my brothers, and our brother from another mother, uh, Patrick Parsons with Georgia Gun Owners. Check back in at 6.30 tonight, guys, and I will see you then. Thank you. Have a good day. We'll talk soon.